right. Um, so it's finally happening. Yeah, are you ready to to get another point on your resume? <laughs> I have a resume. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, um, we're just gonna go into separate calls now. Well, I mean, well, we're. Alone, I'm gonna stay so. here. You can you can uh, hop out if you want. All right. Let me uh, find Discord. All right. Good luck. You too. All right, I'm all here by myself. I'm gonna send out the Manaphy. We're gonna spend a, a little time talking about our team. Let's do the battle rules. We gotta get a master ball. Okay, let's see what he's brought. I'm actually I need to remember to write this stuff down. Okay, so he's got a Mungus. I was really hoping to not see that. Um. He's got Landorus. He's got Thunderous Incarnate, which that's very important because I have two electric move users and that thing has Volt Absorb. So I need to keep that in, in mind. It's got Tapu Lele, which is lovely. He's got Deancey. That's going to be his Mega, almost certainly. Uh, and he's got a Mew. So, uh, the Mega should be obvious. Landorus, I need to know if this is Choice Scarfed or not. Um, he's got two pokes that can put me to sleep, but I have uh, Tapu Koko here. And Tapu Koko's electric terrain will prevent <sighs> Koko, Manaphy, and Magirna from not being put to sleep. The other three can still be put to sleep, though, so that is a concern. So I need to keep this boy alive pretty much all the time. Because uh, I have to switch into Mew and Amoongus if they are the leads. Um, so I've got a few notes here. Um, so about the lead, he's probably going to lead either Deancey or Landorus. I could see him maybe leading with Mew or Amoongus to get cheeky. Um, all three of these, or three of these four, I lead with um, Tapu Koko. It's a very great lead for three of them. Um... This is a Shaka, Shaka Berry on the Coco, which means I can take any earthquakes that come my way. I mean, I, I can't really take them. I take a lot of damage, but um, yeah, that'll uh, I'll be able to survive an earthquake. Uh, he doesn't have any of the setup sweepers I'm really afraid of, except for maybe Mew. Uh, Mew is, is the hardest thing here to game plan for, but... <clears throat> um, he doesn't have a Quagsire, which is good. It's actually really good. Um, so this is uh, this is a cheeky uh, set of pokes here. I actually didn't bring a Mega. This is a Scarf Latios. This thing's Ice Beam will one-shot a Landorus. And if he has a Scarf Lando, and I, I lead Latios, or if I have Latios, he's probably going to think that he outspeeds me, but he doesn't. So I, I'm hoping to catch him with an Ice Beam there. Um, <clears throat> I'm really happy not to see Bulu. He's, he doesn't have uh, Lopini either, which is kind of nice. Um, this is a, an AV Magirna, so I can switch into his, uh, I can switch into pretty much any of these guys and just wreck with Magirna. And Amoongus as well. I do all right. Uh, this is a Tatami Celesteela. Uh, I don't know who I'd set up on. Maybe Amoongus. But I need to make sure that Thunderous goes down first. Th this Thunderous is, like, this is a Scarfed Manaphy. So if I ever I get Manaphy in, this guy is going to be his counter. He naturally outspeeds Manaphy, but with the Scarf, Manaphy will outspeed him and do nasty damage with an Ice Beam. And this Zapdos was meant to uh, take... Hmm. This Zapdos was meant to take on Bulu and Lopini if they came out. Uh, it also does... It also puts in work against a lot of other pokes. Um, it can one-shot Among Us for starters. So I'm actually going to lead Coco here. And let's see what he sends out. I might... So this Coco has HP Ice. So if he leads Landorus... Okay, that's interesting. So this is a Thunderous. I was not expecting that as a lead. I cannot hit this thing with electricity. And I know it. Um... 
It'll be nice to know if I'm faster. I think I just U-turn and switch into Magirna here. This will reveal if it's scarfed or not. If it's not scarfed, my mana fee is, is gonna basically lure this thing in with an ice beam and probably kill it real quick. But I cannot use Brave Bird as long as this Thunderous is in is in play, because I don't I don't want to charge it up. But that thing is, is is best counter to my mana fee, and I know he's afraid of mana fee. I know he's also afraid of um, Magirna, which is why neither of those two are setup sweepers. But I'm I'm actually using uh, what's his name as my setup sweeper. Okay, so this is not scarfed, not scarfed, probably ninety percent. Okay, so I'm going to switch into Magirna right here, or do I want to switch into the Latios? Um, hmm. I think I go into Magirna. Alright, he Volt Switches. I was not expecting that. So he's being cheeky about it. So I want to see what his Magirna... Um, that is a hard-hitting Volt Switch. I want to see what his Magirna check is. He might have identified me as AV there. See, I don't, I don't have a ground type on my team. Uh, a um, crocodile would have been really nice towards the end, but I just had to, I had to pick up Alucha for some reason. Hmm. All right, so Landers comes in. Um, I can probably take a hit from this thing, from from an earthquake. I don't want to though. I think he's just gonna U-turn on my switch. So I'm actually gonna s switch into Celesteela here. I really wanted that momentum, but oh well. So I'm, I'm expecting just a, a little U-turn here. Because there's no way he thinks I'm going to stay in with Magirna. Maybe I should. <laughs> nah. He's... Yeah, I, he U-turned. Okay, so Thunderous is coming back out. I don't know what to do here. He's probably just going to Volt Switch again. Hmm. I think I get cheeky and go Zapdos here. Yeah, that Volt Switch does way too much. But that, that Volt Switch just gives him so much momentum over me, and there's not much I can do about it. So... Once I get momentum back, I think my life will be a lot better. Uh, Zapdos isn't going to put in a lot of work this game. I could have just rock slid or something. Doesn't have a good a good counter to it. But I, I I can't stay in against Thunderous. A Volt Switch still does way too much damage to Celesteela. I should have predicted the U-turn. That was I mean I, I did predict it, I just didn't want to risk it. I'm playing too cautious and I'm accumulating a lot of chip here.
was actually hoping to not accumulate as much as I did there. Okay, Deancey's coming out. Deancey definitely outspeeds me here. I switch into Magirna. Hopefully he doesn't double. But, um... Magirna can take a rock move. And then I can get an Ice Beam or a Flirt Cannon off. I'll probably go Ice Beam just because it does so much. I hope, like, I would rather have Earth Power into Magirna than for DNC to actually, um... Or would I? I should I should really Iron Head because that's a kill on DNC if he stays in. Okay, so he's staying in here. He's getting his Mega up. Is he gonna hit me with the Earth Power or the Diamond Storm? Oh, he's going for Stealth Rock. Okay. Since he didn't get any chip on me, I don't think he's going to stay in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him with an Ice Beam. Dancy gets one shot by Iron Head. I don't think he's going to risk staying in here. Uh, an, Earth, an Earth Power shouldn't do all that much to me. It's non-stab. It'll probably take me down to around here. And I get an Ice Beam on whatever's coming in. And that's a good thing for me. Okay, this is going to take out Landers. And give me a soul heart. So that's, uh, that's Landers down. Uh, he still has the thunder, so he can't uh, bolt freely. Um, that's a big load off my chest. Because um, that is like his best McGearna counter, and he just threw it away. Um, I don't see a reason for me not to just, uh, Ice Beam here. Hold up. Thunderous is staying, is coming in against me. He's probably going to... What is, it? What is he going to do? Is he going to just Volt Switch? Thunderous Incarnate. Um, I don't think he has any good attack to hit me with. I'm not seeing Bulldoze or anything. So maybe he's just going to go for... He could knock. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and calc this. Uh... Oh, Thunderous Incarnate um, versus plus one Magirna, AV. Um, so Fleur Cannon definitely kills. I think I just uh, Fleur Cannon whatever happens here. Yeah, so that thing's going to Volt Switch into something. I still kind of want Magirna to be around for maybe Mew, but something's about to take a plus one Fleur Cannon. And they're not going to like it. But Thunderous is still at, at uh, 90 here. I was really hoping he'd stay in. So the best thing he has to take it is probably going to be Amoongus. Maybe Mew, depending on the set. Either one of these things is great for me. Okay, so... Wait, what just happened? Oh! That is interesting. Red card Amoongus. 
And it, uh, Coco comes in, so that's very beneficial to me. Um, so, fun fact, this is uh, Z Wild Charge with Brave Bird. I actually think Brave Bird, that thing looks really spadef, so I think that, that might be full spadef uh, among us. So, what's the calc on this thing? <clears throat> 65% Brave Bird, 23% um, U-Turn. So I think I just U-Turn here. I, I need to preserve the health on Coco anyways. He knows about Electric Terrain, so I don't think he'll Spore here. He might go for um, Sludge Bomb. I want to see if my Zapdos can take this. So that's uh, sort of a defensive... Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, okay, so Thunderous comes in here. Okay, so that Thunderous is down to like 60%. Um, what do I do here? Because Manaphy... I don't want to trick him into Manaphy here. He probably thought I was about to use like an electric move. So I think I'm just going to Latios here. Oh, that's a little baby one. Okay, so Latios versus Thunderous. So this, uh... Thunderous. Ice Beam does around 80. Draco does 86. Um... I don't know if that's... I don't know which Landorus I calc that on, but an Ice Beam will kill here. So... I think I just go for it and try to knock this thing out. This is a Scarfed Latios. I don't think that matters, though. I think he's taking the Ice Beam either way. And there's very little he can do about it. I actually... I only... Do I have Defog on Zapdos? I don't think I do. I don't have a Defogger, so those rocks are, are here to stay. He's probably going to switch into... Um, uh, the, what's her name? Deancey here. And that's okay. I can, I can take an Ice Beam. Alright, it can take an Ice Beam, but I, any damage on that would be appreciated. Because I got answers for it. Uh, Coco, in fact, will do 87 with a Wild Charge against it. And it probably has Earth Power, so I think he might stay in. I mean, if not, there's always uh, Celesteela. But once Thunderous goes down, if Thunderous goes down here, um, yeah. Once uh, once Thunderous is down, and now that it is, uh, Celesteela, I think, just sweeps from here if I get the right setup. All right, so Deancey's coming in. Um, I'm choice locked into Ice Beam here. So I think I just switch into... Switch into Magirna here. So he's got... Ooh, that does nothing. Um, I actually need to calc how much an Earth Power does. It should not be able to kill me. Um, so, Deancey. Mega. AV Mag. Uh, an Earth Power does 28 to 33. Um, so it, it, it is a roll here in his favor to kill me. Um... How do I deal with this? Do I just sack Magirna here? Or do I still need Magirna for Lele? I think I still need it for Lele. Um, so I am going to get in Celesteela here. And hopefully I'll scout the Earth Power. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is a desirable state of affairs. I'm going to talk to my sweep here. Want to be able to see that. So, Deancey should definitely switch out here. I'm going to get my plus two uh, speed boost. I outspeed anything but a scarfed Mew at this point. And I think Celesteel is just going to go in and sweep from here. Uh, it's got a metronome on it, so every time I use a move, it gets that much stronger. The only thing I'm afraid of is Amoongus. Um. 
I've done this calc already. If he doesn't bring in Amoongus first, Amoongus does 43 with an Air Slash. So that's... I don't think it has any damage on it yet. So that might be a two-hit KO. I doubt it, though. It, it's, a, it's a risky two-hit KO, and if he spores, I'm done. I'm, like, the sweep is over for Celesteela. I think I'll, I'd keep it in, though, because he doesn't have much that can harm me. But, uh, I, again, I, I'm sort of hoping that Etho... Oh, there it is. There it is! Celesteela became nimble. So, the spore is coming here. But I don't think you can really capitalize on it. And I just want the damage on, on it. Because that's the only thing that could be coming right now is a spore. Any electric terrain wouldn't affect a flying type. It's 100% I sleep. I don't know how Spore messes with the, uh... I don't know how it messes with the metronome. I think if I just keep clicking it, I'll be fine. The last thing I want, though, is for Mew to come in here. So if I take a sleep... I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stayed in. I should have just clicked Air Slash so I could switch out. Clear smog. It's a poison type. Can't. Oh, I, I hate for Etho to lose on a blunder like that. Okay, so it's as I thought. It doesn't survive. Okay, there's the spore. Hmm. He doesn't have any benefit to staying in, and I want to get ahead of this Mew. Um, so let's switch into Zapdos. Oh, Lele comes in. That's interesting. So, if this is Calm Mind, I just have to go for it. I'm probably just going to die here, but that's okay. Um, Zapdos didn't have any job to do in this except for attack Amoongus and we all saw what happened there. I don't know why I switched to Lele. That makes me think that Lele is a uh, Thunderbolt. Like, this Lele probably has Thunderbolt. That reminds me I need to put Amoongus at like 5 HP. Okay. So yeah, here there's the Thunderbolt. Uh, I switch into Magirna. I probably survive any hit, even after these rocks. Um, floor cannon it is. Because there's... Huh. So this is Scarf Lele. I, I may have let my Magirna take a bit too much damage here. But if it's Specs, I definitely let it take too much damage. Because a Psy Shock would probably kill me. I have no reason not to Ice Beam here. I I let McGearna take too many hits because of my bad play early on. Because that, that Lele is going to put in work against me in the end game. Especially if it's Scarfed, which I think it is, which is why the switch happened. Okay, Mew comes out. No No cheeky freeze. Um, I think I got an iron head here. Okay, here's the swords dance. All right, the psychic ore is gone. That is a nasty swords dance. Um, I think I just need to sack Magirna. But it's not doing enough damage. If it has soft boiled, I'm in deep. I'm in deep. All 
I did not play this end game very well. Ah, oh, I have Volt Switch. I completely forgot. I should have done that a long time ago. Drain Punch. Okay. So it's a physical. So I'm going to bring in Coco here. Um, this Coco, I'm just going to hit it with U-Turn. Wild Charge does 48 men. Okay, U-Turn there. Um, we got Diancy here. How do I play this? I think I just go for a flash cannon. Maybe try to wake up. This is really dumb of me. I don't know why I'm playing it like this. I really should never have let this thing get asleep, and I should have known to Volt Switch out earlier. I was trying to get it to kill me quick, but that didn't happen. I'm real I'm really playing poorly right now. Alright, what's about to come out here? Drain punch? I think I just switched to Latios. Okay, um, I got Shadow Ball, which does the most. And it will hit, uh, what's its name, pretty evenly. I haven't seen a Z move from him yet. He might just outlast me with the recovery on these guys in the Stealth Rock on my side. Alright, I, I have to. I just have to keep this up. Um, I outspeed, so he's probably just going to switch to Deancy here. Uh, and that'll give me chip for Coco, and I think Coco might just win it. Um, so this, uh, this Mew is at like 10%. I don't know how much is left on that Amoongus. He's regenerated twice. That's what I'm afraid of. But Latios' is, uh, Psychic can kill it. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing a moon blast is about to come in, I I guess. Or Lele. I don't have to switch into Lele anymore. Ah, uh, with Lele I do fifty five with the Shadow Ball. Okay, Dancy coming in. I'll I'll take whatever chance I can get to wake up my uh my beautiful Celestela died before her time. Yeah. Okay. So, Deancy. I don't have enough chip on this thing. So my two, my two counters to it. Hmm. 
Okay, let me think about it. I don't know if that's scarfed uh, Lele or not. I think the U-turn chip might be enough for me to, you know, go into Latios and then come back into Coco and wild charge it to death. Yeah, this rock damage is really adding up. And I've yet to use the Z-move. Or, it's not a Z-move. I've yet, I've yet to pop the Shaka Berry. But a wild... Tr like, after another U-turn, like, maybe that'll... Mm, I, I mean... I might have enough for the wild charge to kill it here. I probably should have gone for it. But if I fail, that's... bad. Um... Huh. I don't have a good answer to Among Us without uh, Latios, so I think I think Etho wins. Whew! That Moonblast just does so much. Okay, so this is scarfed. It should hit first. He doesn't know that, so he might stay in a Moonblast. Energy Ball is the best solution I got for that. But it's not enough. Uh, yeah, I did not play this well. I think the Among Us kills me from here. Especially if it's like uh, the gunky one. Hey, I don't know if he's figured out if I'm scarfed yet, but if he just goes Among Us here, I think he wins. I don't know why I clicked. Ah, I guess. All right, so he didn't figure it out. So this thing has to take the Shadow Ball. If this thing's scarfed, I lose, because it'll outspeed Coco and probably kill it. I hate Among Us. I hate it so much. I think if I had gotten lucky with, uh, uh, with the sleep turns, I might have had a chance, but... I, did, I played that very poorly. Shadow Ball will take it down to below half. Coco's coming in. If that's scarfed, I'm dead. That's all there is to it. And Brave Bird is not going to be able to do enough. Is it? Brave Bird does 65. I might just have enough here. But that's a lot of recoil to take. So if this thing isn't scarfed... Oh, if he switches, I'm done. It might be like a double death. I shouldn't have done... I shouldn't have done the move that I did. I should have done Brave Bird and not Volt. Although I don't know how much Brave Bird does here. Yeah. Okay, I have to actually calc this. Uh, Among Us. Hmm. 
He can stall out my health. I'm thinking this is... No, it's not a salt fest among us, because he's four. Um, so this is... What is it? I don't know what it is. Alright, let's say it's Max Bedef. My U turn, pro or my uh, HP Ice probably kills it. But U turn does a bit more. Okay. So this thing is Scarf, that's it. Um, I outspeed it if it's not scarfed. Wild charge. <sighs> not in terrain will not kill it. Well, Brave Bird, though. Oh, I'm, I'm still looking. And Among Us, what am I doing? Yeah, I think Wild Charge, Wild Charge, or Brave Bird kills him. Whoo! Wow, GG. I think I messed up at the end there. I I messed up in the middle. I should not have let you put my Celesteel Celesteel to sleep. Yeah, that Celesteel is a major pain in my butt. I was really uh, hoping that second uh, second air slash would kill you, but I'm like, okay, it's probably going to leave him with one health, and he's going to get all of it back. I yeah. think if I think I think if I let Lele die at the end there. Uh no. Clear smog. Do you think clear smog would have killed? I have uh, Brave Bird on Coco. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I should have used it on the first turn when it was just Lele when you switched in. Oh, okay. I was kicking myself for clicking too early. But, wow. I, I, well, I, I still could have sacked Lele and lived another wild charge. I shouldn't have been wild charging. That's the thing. I should have only been Brave Birding. Yeah. But, I think I messed up at the end there, though. I, I, I didn't play as well as I had hoped, and I thought that would... Uh, I, I took way too much damage on McGearna. I let you get so much <laughs> that momentum was assault early fest, on. right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have no nope. uh, flash cannon? Oh, yeah. Um, so I thought I'd get tricky. Both of these two were scarfed. Yeah, the scarf on the mana fee threw me off there. That energy ball almost killed. Yeah, there's another, like, one health you lived on. <laughs> Yeah. I, was, uh, I, I, I wasn't expecting that to kill, though. I think you won the speed tie with Diancie, though, and Latios. I think that was a big thing. Uh, Latios is scarfed. Oh, that's not Mega? No. Oh. That's, uh, I, was, I was really hoping to throw you off with that, and apparently it worked. Uh, yeah. So you didn't have a Mega? Nope. Ah. That's as cheeky the shadow as I'm ball. Get. The Shadow Ball on it was uh, scary too yeah the Zapdos did not put in any work at all <laughs> um it was my counter for Lopany and Bulu and I guess okay. I could have kept it around for Among Us because it, it can one shot it did you have HP Ice on it nope this is okay. a um Z Sky Attack which does like just enough to kill uh Bulu Among Us and uh, Lopany in one hit. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't to be. I had a big mistake with Landris. Yeah, yeah. You I showed me, you already showed me that switch in once. Um, I had my I had Zed fly on this in case he brought Tangrowth. Yeah, I I, I was hot, I was thinking about Tangrowth instead of Zapdos. Because I figured I think you had HP Ice on your Tangrowth, so I thought you might stay in and use it. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. But. You didn't bring it, so that plan failed. Uh, um. So, did you have a scarfer? 
No, that was my big concern at the end there. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I don't have a scarf. I'm like, okay, if this is Scarf Lele, I'm done. Like, yeah. you, you've won, but... Ah, oh, GG. That yeah, came down to the wire. I thought you were going to bring Heatran, Magirna, Tangrowth, Latios, and Coco for sure. That was my original uh, team. But I I really wanted to get the Atatomized Celesteela sweep on you. But oh, uh, okay. I, you know, I, I brought Amo Amoongus for Magirna, and uh, they worked pretty good against Celesteela too. And this didn't come out. I was really hoping you'd lead with, um, with what's his name? Landers. Yeah. yeah this I is a Shaka Coco. So it can take an earthquake and hit him with a HP. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Is is your Coco scarfed? No. Okay. It's just really fast. Because I was I was gonna bring scarfed Landers, and hopefully your Coco wasn't scarfed and just earthquake it. But that's what I was hoping you'd do. <laughs> Yeah, I figured I had to be a little more tricky than that. Uh, <laughs> um, I really was hoping you'd bring Heatran, because uh, Lele can two-shot it with Psychic. Really? I would have thought it would be a three-shot, but just barely. Oh, my. Oh. It might even be able to two-shot Celesteel, I'm not sure. I kept going Moonblasts. Um, not scared. a defensive one. I'm, I'm really... Your voice is coming. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's that. Just barely survived. But my, uh, internet did not. Get, getting the odd word. Uh, you're getting words at least. Well, there's some more words. Yay, words! Words are back. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised you, uh, weren't afraid of Manaphy more. Like, I thought you'd have Thunderbolt on Lele, but... I don't know, I thought... I do have Thunderbolt on Lele. Yeah, but, uh... Lele, does it survive a plus three Tail Glow? Like, uh, a plus the, the three Surf or something? Tail Glow? Uh... Uh... uh scarf? You cut out again. Oh, uh, I was wondering um, if Lele even survives a plus three from Manaphy. Oh, well, there goes my internet, so. <laughs> it's funny, you disconnect there, but now you got real clear on the Discord. Yeah, it's it's weird like that, but I think I'm going to have to call it an end for the recording. All right. Well, good match, man. That was fun. Yep, GG.